I inherited millions from my mom, but I refuse to share it with my dad. Am I the a-hole? All he did was raise me. I mean, come on. All, all he did was care for me and, and love me and, and, and give me a chance. Ensure that I survive. Ensured that I survive. I mean, that's it. That's all that's he did. It. That's why, all I did. Why, why should I? I have millions. Why should I have to give him $1? No, don't, $10. don't even give him an ice cream. Exactly. Don't even give him a ticket to the Minions. Yes, there we go. Yeah, no no tickets. No suits. No tickets. No suits. Nothing. No zoot suits. So a bit of background. I was a big oops. My biological mom was a wealthy woman who apparently never wanted marriage or kids. She met my dad at a work event. Same job type, different locations, not sharing specifics for anonymity. Mm -hmm. You know, OP wants to remain anonymous. That's right. And then they started seeing each other casually for a few months. And then boom, her pill, the condom and the plan B all failed to stop me from existing. Dude, honestly, this man's sperm this is freaking Spartacus. Bro, he, he is like the Michael Phelps of swimmers. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> if you catch my drift. My mother was going to abort me, but my father begged her not to because he was actually married and was told by his wife that they only had a 1% chance of ever carrying a baby to term. She agreed only on the stipulation that she can give me up and she had no visitation, no parenting, nothing but child support. And he and his wife could reach an agreement. And then my mom took me under the ruse that she'd raise me as her biological daughter. This is just the most insane thing ever. It's like, wait, we had an affair and now you're pregnant, but I need that baby because we can't have a baby. <laughs> and, it, yeah, it's and so the wife confusing. is just like, the wife is just like, please, please give me give your me affair, baby. baby, please. I, I, I'm wondering if the wife was like, hey, hubby, hook up with anyone you want and everyone you want because we're trying to get as many women pregnant so we can take their babies. That would be the most insane plot twist of any Reddit story of all time. Oh, my gosh. Also, like. The 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 bio mom like for saying like oh I will also pay child support salute, salute. like yeah. you know you didn't have to do that yeah I mean I feel like they could they probably could have reached an agreement where she didn't have D- to just pay does child nothing. support it's yeah like- exactly needless to say I never met my biological mom but it doesn't get any better for me from here uh oh my stepmom actually ended up having a miracle about a year after I was born a son. My brother has never treated me any different and I love him dearly, but I could always tell I was never my parents' priority. I more or less just kind of existed to be seen, never heard of or really acknowledged unless it was something for the family. When I turned 13, I got the opportunity to meet my biological grandma, my mom's mom. She had no idea I existed and I petitioned for visitation. I love spending time with her so much that I asked if I could live with her. Wow. My dad and stepmom seemed happy to get rid of me and accepted. God. That's so sad. This is insane. It's so sad. My biological mom never visited her mom anyway. A rift over her not settling down and having kids. Well, that was six years ago. My biological mother just died a month ago and surprisingly left everything she owned to me with the stipulation that I go to school for business and better myself. According to her letter that the lawyer and trustee told me about. This is life-changing money. I'm talking, I went from lower middle class, grandma left everything to me, but wasn't a lot, just a house and a couple thousand, to a multi-millionaire. Hit the money. To a multi-millionaire. Could you imagine? You'd never even talk to this woman and she's like, hey, hey, take take my money. Take this money, take Take that money. Take take all this money. It's also crazy that like, she also inherited everything from her grandma and the grand and she got a house from the grandma too. Like that's a house. That's a lot. That's a lot. Now my dad and stepmom are on my case to share the money. I have no idea how they found out as my grandma passed last year, right after I graduated, it was her dream to see me graduate. And she had been sick for a few years. The only person I talked to is my brother, but I never told him. Apparently they don't have money to send him to an Ivy league school. Like they've always wanted, but money is no longer an object for me. I know they raised me for 13 years, but this money could really change my life. Am I the a-hole if I don't share it? I think you should uh, use your millions of dollars to rent like like in Squid Games. You know how they have the giant like piggy yeah. bank with all the money? Rent that, drive it to their house, and gloat. <laughs> yeah, just sit on top of it and say, you'll never get this. You'll never get this. <gasps> you you want to you wanna go to Harvard? You can't afford it? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Maybe if your parents had raised me, right? But there's an update. <gasps> there's an update. 
I'm not sure about the protocol of an update, but I have one. I made an appointment to see the lawyer and trustee handling my biological mom's estate. So the gist of the meeting ended with them telling me that how my mother wrote her will, in order for the inheritance to be truly mine, I have to go to business school. So I couldn't even give money to my dad and stepmom even if I wanted to, which, thanks to all of you, I learned I have no moral obligation to do and won't be doing. Plus, I talked to my brother, and he doesn't even want to go to an Ivy League school. He wants to go to art school, and dad and stepmom refuse to pay for it. Wow. Man wants to be an artist. Classic. I offered to him that after I complete my business degree, which I'm going to do, I would be more than happy to pay for his art school. He graciously accepted and told our dad, and it did not go well. They have threatened to disown him. They apparently want him to be a lawyer or doctor or something with a higher salary so he can take care of them, I guess. (laughs) They had a massive blowout fight, and he is now moving out of the house and into mine. While he is still in high school, he's technically 18, so I'm not sure if I'll get into trouble with the police, but I wasn't about to let my brother live in the streets. Wow. I've been driving him to and from school while still working until I can register for business school. Thank you for all who have commented. Wow. What a crazy windfall. That is millions just millions of dollars, millions of dollars, a house. And, and also you like from the biological mom that you, that basically didn't want anything to do with you. Literally. And now she's giving you millions of dollars. It's like life changing. That is insane. insane. The yeah. only way it could be crazier is he was like, he was like worried like, Oh, I'm like, He's technically like his guardian, but he's like 18. He's like, not sure. The only thing that would make it crazier is if they called the cops and they busted it like, freeze, you're you're arrested for harboring a minor. Yeah, you're arrested, baby. You're never going to get out. And we're seizing all your cash, too. I love the insanity. Today, I effed up by almost tumble drying my own cat to death. Oh, no. Bad cat owner. Not good. Come on. Not how you get that pussy dry. No, it is not. There are many other ways to dry your pussy. Just introduce them to me. There we go. (laughs) (laughs) Self burn. (laughs) So I'll start by saying that I have an awesome pair of noise canceling headphones that I wear when I'm doing chores around the house and they work really well, like really well. Uh Just imagine the cat. (laughs) (laughs) I'm jamming out, unloading the dishwasher, and I remember I have some laundry to fold and more to wash. So go on over to the dryer and I have a load of bedding that was dry and still in the that was dry, but still in the dryer. I decided I just wanted to fluff everything up and get the wrinkles out before I fold everything. So I slam the dryer door closed and start the dryer. Oh, no. Nothing's going to go wrong here. Oh, no. Now, thankfully, I have two pussy cats and see the other one standing in the laundry room immediately looked very scared. My other cat puffed out her fur, but she won't run away like she usually would when she's startled. She's just looking at the dryer and back at me and back at the dryer and back at me still extremely puffed up. I think maybe the dryer is scaring her or something and she needs and she needs to use a litter box, which is right next to the dryer. Sometimes if there's change in the dryer, she'll get scared of it. So I turn off the dryer and said, OK, you can use it now. But she doesn't go to the litter box. She's still looking all puffy. Hmm. This is when I take off my headphones and I hear something in the dryer. Oh, no. I open it and cat number two comes bolting out. He had decided at some point to take a nap in the bedding in the dryer. No. Which our cat does that too. Always Uh, check. Not in the dryer though. (laughs) Uh, And I had closed this poor baby in there and started the dryer on him. This all happened in the span of maybe 10 to 15 seconds before I turned it off. And thankfully he was unharmed and got lots of treats and extra snuggles. And I feel like a monster. My other cat is a hero. She got my attention and legit saved his fucking life. I am so grateful to her and so happy. Nothing went wrong. Oh my God. So lucky. (laughs) 